Well, the birds going in, um, it's always a bit of a, oh, it's always a bit of a, a risk. You know, you, you've got your painting and you're really pleased with how it's looking. But then I always, you know, I don't always like to put a bird in, but it, I put a bird in sometimes for scale. Gives you a good idea of how big these waves are, etc. And a bit of interest. Um, I always try to put it on a third. If you have a look at this picture here, it's on a third here, which is, you know, which is what they call the golden section. Um, and that's your focal point. But I just thought I'd just share something with you. So, for example, here, that the top of this bird's head needs to be white because it's reflecting the sun. But it's very difficult to see that. I'm just going to get rid of that pencil line and you'll see what I mean. Because it's light behind it as well. So the way you would do that, I'm actually just videoing this myself, so it's going to be a bit tricky. To make that white stand out, you need to darken the background. So I'm going to very carefully wet behind. I might have to redo this when I've not got my phone in my hand, but hopefully you'll understand the principle. And then you wet a bigger area. You wet a good patch. Because then I'm going to apply a little bit of colour behind that. Let's just see if that's going to be right. Yeah, and if you only had to wet a little bit, the paint would just go to the end of the water and stop and you'd have a hard line. But because you've wet quite a, a big area, it's just going to run away and, and diffuse. I hope that makes sense. OK, so immediately you can see that that white head is now standing out. Uh, just bear with me. But you get the idea. I did it here because there's a little white bit here and it was all white. So I just wet this bit here and put a bit more colour in and then immediately that stands out. I did it here. Uh, so that's just um, a tip tip for the day, I suppose. So I think I've finished him now, or her. Uh, but what I tend to do then, this is going to be very difficult to do one-handed, <laughs> is with a bit of water, because it's a bit static, I might just sort of blur some of the edges and just take... So I'm putting paint on, and then I'm sort of taking paint off, as though some of the water is splashing, some of the sea is splashing over it, or, you know, the wings are moving. You've got like a sense of movement. Just try and blur it a little bit. I won't do much more um, <laughs> without really concentrating on what I'm doing, actually. So, but you get the idea. You sort of put it on and then you can take a bit off. And then what I do do, obviously, because I do splash the painting, um, I, I splash or a flick with a toothbrush the bird as well because you know the bird will be amongst the waves sometimes i'll do a, a big blob i don't know whether i can do it and hold oh yeah there you go you know be quite brave about it um and if you don't like those little bits then you know this is just gouache so you can actually get that off but yeah it sort of it makes it more integral to the whole picture rather than just being something that's static and almost cut out and and stuck on so that's um i think that's going to be okay i've no idea what i'm calling it <laughs> this is always a, a problem i like one word names so if anybody can think of anything uh that would be fab uh, but i will uh probably sign this and, and get this ready because i'm i'm doing a, an exhibition in july at ferrer's gallery at is it Harold Staunton or Staunton Harold in the Midlands? Um, so I've uh, got about eight images ready to go there in, in July for their exhibition called Escape, I believe. I think that's going to be OK. I think that'll be the mount that I use. It does cut a little bit off either side, but I think that looks that looks OK. So it just needs a name. <laughs>